What's up everybody? This is CryptoBox with another video. If you're new here, I make videos daily about blockchain games and NFTs. Subscribe if you're here to make some gains. Also, check my Discord and Telegram down below in the description. You can find me there, ask me questions, give me suggestions, and communicate with other people. So let's get started with the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Goldminer and what this project is. And they actually have an ICO coming soon. And that's basically going to start from November 9th and, and, and November 10th. Uh, uh, you can white, you can add yourself to a whitelist till November 8th. So one day right before they do their ICO. So if you're interested in doing that, I will leave a referral link down below and you can also check my discord and telegram for the referral referral link. So let's get started with the video here. You can see this is gold miner. Their gold, their token is uh gold, just their token symbols gold. You can see I have 1.1 million on their watch list which is a lot of people and when you have a lot of people like that you know this this token might just skyrocket right when it's public which is probably like uh once it goes on pancake swap and all that it probably just skyrocket the heck out of here here you can see gold miner is a free-to-play third-person shooter nft game where everyone can start playing without the need of paying so free to play obviously that is uh, really good for most people, Gold Miner also employs the play to earn model to reward players with tokens and equipment through dynamic gameplay and participation in PvP tournaments. With the seamless combination of DeFi and play to earn models, Gold Miner gives players the opportunity to play and earn rewards at the same time. So, obviously, play to earn. If you know what that is, then you should know that this should be normal. To create a friendly environment for Players who are unfamiliar with cryptocurrency market and NFTs. A mechanism called crypto play against is incorporated into the gameplay to give incentives to such players to do their own research and learn about the market. Uh, they're on Binance Smart Chain and uh, you can see this is their Twitter right here. Their Twitter is 31,000 followers. Might not that be that much but it's decent for what it is. Uh, their, their game's not even out yet. Their token's not even public. Obviously, this is pretty decent. You can see they, po they post tweets about a few times a day. And obviously, that shows that they're active with their community. So, that's really good. You want to look for that kind of stuff to make sure the project is good. Then, you have their actual website. Uh, Miner Gold or Gold Miner, whatever you want to call it. You can enter farm, but that is not out yet. So if you click it, it won't do anything, but that will be out once the game is out. Then you have market, which I'll show you in a bit where they have their NFTs and they had some NFT chests where you could get an NFT right now before the game is even out. You can see this is their trailer right here if you want to play it. Then about gold miner, I just read out uh, what is gold miner. And then gold swap. So uh, the gold token is the main in-game currency. It will be used to trade and exchange and buy game props. So NFTs. Um, this is their tokenomics. You can see their total supply is 100 billion gold. And their private sale will be... Uh, this ICO private sale will be about 10 billion gold tokens to go out. And so... Here, 40% goes to farm, 10% goes to the public, 15% goes to private, 7% goes to liquidity, 20% goes to game ecosystem, 5% goes to eco development, and 3% goes to marketing. Uh, then you have their features. You have mining, collecting, homes, farm, gems, and a bar. Uh, mining, you can earn gold directly by participating in various ways such as shared mining cave or your own mining cave. Then you have collecting blind boxes which are the boxes like a lottery where you could get possibly any nft then you can design your own home and earn money to build a big house you have the farm in the future farm will jump to the metaverse game gold miner you can earn gold by farming crops on your farm then you have gems so chance of dropping nft gems such as diamonds rubies sapphires emeralds in specific mining caves so if you couldn't tell by now uh, this is a mining game. You can mine gold, you can mine gems, you can mine whatever you find with your NFTs. Then you have the gameplay. So you have marketplace, marketplace, social, metallurgical, and factory. So those are the four main types of gameplay you have in this game. You can see what it's supported by. We have Binance Smart Chain, Pancake Swap, Token Pocket, Trust Wallet, 
Surtic, a few other things, Gamify, and My DeFi Pets. So if you want to check what Surtic's got, you would go to their website and you can see that they have only two major findings and two informational and 50% of them is already resolved. So they have their audit already, one audit, and uh, that means that they've done their audit. You can see 78% votes for secure and uh, that's pretty good. The token's not even out, so that's pretty high already by itself. Then you have the team. Uh, you can learn more about their team by just reading their description. Then you have the audit down below where you could click it instead of searching it up like me. Uh, you have their socials, so their Twitter right here, their Telegram, and their GitHub for their white paper and all of that. And then we go on to their blind boxes. So these are the blind boxes they were talking about. So you have the mining machine and you have the miner rolls. You open this right now it is sold out but once it was not sold out you could buy these and you could now sell them on the market as you can see people are selling them for in usdt and you can see the different names the different speeds for mining i'm guessing this will be statistics that will come into play for the game and uh, you can learn more about this then you can check my nfts if you had one you could just sell it or as I would do, I would keep it, but I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research before investing. You have the white paper. So the white paper is where you go in-depth into their game and project and learn way more about their project to maybe know a few things that you didn't know, like FAQ questions and stuff. Uh, you have the free-to-play progress, so this is how they explain it, and then you have etc. So you can see their roadmap right here, which you would be looking for normally, and unfortunately they don't have a roadmap on their main website but you can still use their white paper uh, in august they want to make the game development smart contract development and an audit october uh, which is one month uh, before us right now as the published as the video is getting published uh, gold tokens were to be a public sale but obviously that did not happen uh, open lp farms all all of this right here did not happen, unfortunately, but this seems like it would go to November. It would get pushed out to November, possibly December, but I doubt that. Then you have their swapping and staking program. That That's not a thing right now. Their roadmap is a bit behind. Then uh keeps going on, so you can tell that this is a bit behind, and you will maybe have to put it one month forward now. So that's basically their roadmap. You can learn way more. You can see December PvE game mode. Maybe this would happen in December but who knows and uh tell me what do you think about this i'm actually gonna be participating in this so uh i'll send the i'll put a link in the description and in the comments on uh how to par participate and all that and you could possibly get some tokens here and then keep them sell them whatever you want to do with them and uh, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button comment you want for the next video and what game you recommend and i'll see you guys later peace